Hello students, welcome to this class. In this class, we are going to study about the poem The Set. Okay. In this class, we are going to discuss about the poem The Set from Grade 7. Grade 7, The Set. The poem The Set written by Frank Sun. He was an Australian writer. He was an Australian writer. Francis Stanislas Frank Fly. Francis Stanislas Frank Fly is the full name. Frank Fly is the author of the poem The Set. He was born on 6 December 1906. Okay, 6 December 1906 and he was living till 29 July 2000. Okay, and uh, he was educated in Sydney. Frank Fly was educated in Sydney. Uh, he was a writer. Not just a writer, but also he was a professional doctor. And he made notable contributions to medicine and religion. Okay? He made much contributions to religion and medicine. So the poem does said, What is said? Have you seen sir? You must have seen the place where you live. Okay? You must have seen the said. There are uh, different usage. Uh, uh, in terms of usage, we can say uh, cow shed, tool shed, okay, wood shed. Okay? There are, these are the different ways of using the set. Let us understand about the set. What is set? A uh, small room which is uh, away from the main house. Okay? Uh, a small room just away from the main house. It is situated, the set is situated just some distance away from the main house. There will be main house in some place. From that, the set is situated, maintaining some distance. Okay? So, small room away from the main house. That is what the set there. There are different usage of the set there. Okay? Keep store, storing and keeping things. Okay? Storing and keeping things. Cow shed, tool shed, uh, wood shed. You must have, definitely you sure you, you might have seen this set around the place where you live. Okay. Before uh, we get into the line by line explanations, let us summarize the whole poem, the set. Okay. Uh, as I told you, the poem written by the poet Frank Wright. It's a narrative poem and the speaker of the poem is a child. Okay, okay. A child in this uh, point of view, the poem, the whole poem has been narrated in his point of view. A child's point of view. Okay, the speaker of the poem is a child. Okay. First the child talks about the set, how the set is in the garden. Okay. So the set is situated in the garden, at the bottom of the garden. Okay. Where is the set located? It is uh, situated or located at the bottom of the garden. And now uh, the speaker gives a description of the set. How the set was uh, looking like? How the set was looking like? Once you see the set, it was uh, looking like the set was not being used for long time. Okay? The set was not used for long time. Okay, you are saying that it was not used for long time. How? What is the indication? What is the reason why you are saying that uh, said is not being used for long time? Because the web hanging across the the web was hanging across the window. Okay, the web was hanging. Spider's web was hanging across the window. So. This is that indication that the set was not being used for long time. Okay. Then the speaker talks about the hinges, the noise, the creaking noise, which is made by the wind uh, door, which is made by the door. Hinges means what? Giant. Okay. Giant. Okay. The windows, uh, the door are the, uh, jointed by the hinges. To the set. Okay. When the wind is blowing, when the wind is blowing, it makes noise. This noise tells you that the hinges are rusty. And the 
hinges, the joint is rusty and creak. Okay, the joints make uh, creaking sound. The joints uh, make creaking sound. That tells to the said was not used for long time. And one more thing, one more thing uh, in the speaker, the quiet poem. That's about the window. Okay, the window. The set has a window with three pans of glass. Okay, the set has a window with the three pans of glass, and also it was cracking. The glass was cracking. So it was so mystery. It was so mysterious. Whenever I pass along the way, I feel. Like somebody is staring at me from inside the shed. Whenever I I was walking along the way, I feel like somebody uh, is staring at me in, from inside the shed. What is staring at? Staring at means looking at me. Okay, staring at means looking at me. Somebody uh, is looking from the shed. Whenever I pass along the way. But I wanted to get into uh, the set inside one day. I wanted to get myself inside the set one day. But my brother, my brother said something differently. What did he say? Once, if you get, if you set your foot into the set, there is a ghost inside that would probably kill you. That would probably kill you. The speaker's brother said this. But the speaker knew something about his brother. Because he, he was uh, thinking his brother is lying. Because he wanted to use the set by himself. So he says, if you set foot inside the set, it would probably kill you. There is a ghost inside, it would probably kill you. So, here he knows, the speaker knows his brother is lying. Anyway, I have decided who oh, the speaker has decided. One day I have to set my foot into the set. But I I am not fixing the exact date, exact time. But definitely I will set my foot into the set. Okay? There is no doubt about it. He believes that his brother is lying. He knows his brother very well. So he was giving the description about the uh, said and also he, uh, he expresses his desire of getting himself into the said and what made, what obstructing him to get into the said. What his brother talks, uh, uh, told him about the said. Okay, there are the things uh, which has been uh, discussed by Frank Frank. In the child's point of view, okay, the speaker of the poem is uh, the set is a child. Okay, in child's, this is a narrative poem. In child's point of view, the whole poem has been narrated. So now let us start with the first line. The set. That is a set at the bottom of our garden. Okay, that is a set at bottom of our garden with a spider's web hanging across the. Do. So now he talks about the shed and also how the shed was looking like. There is a shed. Where is that shed? At the bottom of our garden. Okay, our garden. At the bottom of our garden. With a spider's web hanging across the door. With a spider's web hanging across the door. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. The hinges, joints are so rusty. Okay, hinges are so rusty and it, may, it makes nice creaking noise whenever the wind is blowing. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. When I am in bed, I lie and listen. Okay? When I am in bed, I lie and listen. The sound, the sound of the door. When I am in bed, I lie and listen. What he listens? He listens the creaking sound. This is made by the door because of the wind. I will open that door one day. Okay? I will open 
avoid that door only. He was very determined. The speaker of the poem, the child, was very much uh, determined to open the door only. I will open the door only. There is a dusty old wind around at the side. There is a dusty old window. The window was so dusty. Okay. The side has a window. It was so dusty. Around at the side with the three cracked pans of glass. Okay. There is a window with the three cracked pans of glass. I often think there is someone staring at me. I often think someone staring at me. Each time that I pass, every time that I pass, I feel like somebody is looking from inside, staring at me, looking at me. Okay, I often think there is someone staring at me. Each time that I pass, I will peep through that window only. I will peep through. What is the meaning of peep through? Staring at me, looking, uh, looking inside. Okay, peep through means looking through. I will peep through that window only. I will be looking into the window only. Now we have concluded the first two stanza. Let us go for the third and fourth one. Okay? Again I will repeat again. Okay. There is a slate at the bottom of our garden with the spider's web hanging across the door. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. When I am in bed, I lie on the I listen. I open that door one day. There is a dusty old window around at the side. With three cracked pans of glass, I often think there is someone staring at me. Each time that I pass, I peep through that window only. Okay, now that sense, uh, from the poem, that's it. Uh, my brother says there is a ghost in the cell. Okay, so uh, the speaker's brother says something. What he says? There is a ghost in the cell. Who hides under the rotten floorboards? Rotten floorboards decompose the wooden covering of the floor. Okay, decompose wooden covering of the floor. Uh, the board which is used to cover the floor. Okay, rotten floorboards. Okay. Uh, the, what hides the ghost? Hides under the rotten floorboards. Rotten floorboards means decomposed. Floor boards, okay. The wooden covering of the floor. The wooden covering of the floor. The wood was the wood which was used to cover the floor. My brother says there is a ghost inside the cell who hides under the wooden floor boards. And if I ever dare, that means courage, okay. And if I ever dare to set foot inside. He will jump out and chop off my head. Okay. If I ever dare to step in, if I ever step in inside the set, he will jump out. He will jump out to ghost. And what he will do? He will chop off my head. Who says this? Speaker's brother. Okay. Speaker brother says this. And where the ghost hides under the Rotten floorboards. Okay, rotten floorboards. Decomposed floorboards. Floorboards is nothing. It's a wooden board which is used to cover the floor. Okay. Under the under the cover, there is a ghost which hides himself. When the ghost will jump out, once the speaker, the child, speaker of the poem, once he set the foot inside the set. The ghost will jump out and what he will do? He will chop off the head. Whose head? After uh, speaker's head. Okay? The child. Okay? My brother says there is a ghost in, in the cell who hides under the rotten floorboards. And if I ever ever dare to set foot inside, he will jump out and chop off my head. But I will take a peek one day. But still, I will take a peek. Inside the cell one day. Okay? He was very determined. The speaker of the poem, the child, was very much determined to set foot inside the cell. Even though he was 
told his meaning lies by his brother. What was the story told by his brother? There is a ghost inside which hides himself inside the rotten floorboards. He will jump out if you set foot and will chop off your head. That was the story given by his brother. But he was very much determined even after knowing the story which was told by his brother. I know that there is not really a ghost. But the speaker was very much confident, very much sure there is no ghost at all. See, I know that there is not really a ghost. Then why his brother said something like that? See, my brother tells lies to keep the set for his den. To keep the set for his den. My brother told lies. Because he wanted to keep the set for his den. What is den? A place to hide. Okay? A place to hide den. Okay? He wants to have the set by himself. That is what his aim. So he was uh, making a story to uh, convince his brother that he should not enter into the set. I know that there is not really a ghost. My brother tells lies to keep the set for his den. There is not anyone staring or making strange noises. Okay? There is not anyone staring or making strange noises. No one staring at me actually. No one making noises. This is what the reality of the set.